Here we have a uh, Penny Arcade disposition register that answers the question, how do you impress people? As it uh, says in the sign there, you would drop a penny in and uh, after squeezing the handle and holding it, a, uh, one of these lights on the back board would light up and uh, be able to tell you if you were uh, spendthrift or stubborn or noble. Um, great pre-war 1930s as you can see the uh, patent dates there on the uh, backboard. The backboard is all original. Uh, the machine itself has been uh, very faithfully restored. Chrome has been redone. The uh, cabinets in really nice condition. Uh, original uh, or a uh, replacement uh, Esco water decal that matches the original. A uh, replacement back sign, top sign uh, marquee that matches the original and uh, just an overall really nice specimen. These uh, were very very popular in fact this machine was uh, they were very often mounted to uh, bases and uh, one of the reasons why was because they're uh, they're somewhat small in size and uh, there's just not a lot of room inside to hold money and they were so popular that they would just get loaded with pennies so they would actually uh, bore a hole in the bottom and uh, let the money drop through to a uh, cabinet down below and then these machines would be bolted down. So it was a common fixture. You, there were several varieties of these um, love meters and so on and uh, this is uh, again the uh, disposition register. Let's go ahead and play it. It's a pretty simple operation. It is electrical so it's plugged in. You uh, drop a penny and uh, when you squeeze and hold you see the light light up. This indicates, oh, not so good. You're stubborn. Let's go ahead and try it again. Drop another penny in. Give it a squeeze. Ah, oh, still stubborn. Uh-oh. Let's uh, try it a, a third time. Maybe we'll get something a little better. Oh, I don't know. Tight. I think we better quit while we're behind. So that's a uh, nice uh, example of the uh, disposition register by Exhibit Supply Company. Uh, manufactured and uh, in operation in the uh, mid-1930s to the early 1940s.